Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Tiki, and in this video we're gonna learn about PHP for each loop. The for each loop is used to loop through an associative array. So inside the round brackets here we have our associative array, follow that by the keyword as, and then we have our array key, which we can store inside of a key variable, follow that by the rocket operator, and then the array's key value, which we can store in a variable called value. Now the key and value variables can be named anything as long as you remember that this one refers to the array key and that this one refers to the array's key value. And just to review, this is what the associative array looks like. So the key name would refer to Sam in this example and the value variable would refer to the key value which is 23. Okay, so that's the syntax of the for each loop. Now, the loop is going to end when the final key value pair is reached. So in our example here, when Jim and 42 key value pair has been reached, the loop is going to end. Okay, that's it for the syntax. Now let me show you a practical example. I'm going to go ahead and create a new array here named animals. And all it's going to be is a bunch of animal names along with the sounds those animal name, uh, those animal make. So I'm going to create bad creatures and bear roars. Just going to add some more animals here. Dolphin clicks goose hunks and vulture screams. Okay, so the animal name here is the array key and the array value is the sound that this animal makes. So I'm going to go ahead and loop through the animals array now. As you can see, I named my variables name and sound because it makes sense. Uh, inside of our animals array, we have the animal name. And this is what the name is is referring to. It's referring to the the key of the array, and the sound is referring to the value of the array. So if I echo out these two here, and uh, use space to concatenate the two together, and then at the end I'm going to use a br tag to make it look nicer. This is exactly what's going to print out. It's going to print out the animal name, and then space and the sound which the animal makes. So as you can see here that worked as expected. We're looping through the associative array and it's printing out the array key and, and the array value. Now an alternative way to write this would be as follows. You can just use the associative array name and uh, since we have access to the key this will give us the value of the array. And so now we have all the values. Another way to write this is to completely avoid this part. And if we wanted to just print out the array values, we can do so in this way as well. So this does the same exact thing as before. Okay, so that's it for the, this <laughs> example. And now I want to show you something else. Um, I want to show you how to modify array values by reference. So for example, if I had that array named numbers and uh, just gonna keep this short and put five numbers in here. And then I loop through this array numbers using the short version because I only need values. Let's go ahead and print out this array here. Numbers. And uh, numbers equals array. And so right now it's just printing out the array. And we have a key, we have a value, we have a key, we have a value. So you can see that all the key, uh, all the values are one, two, three, four, five. Now, if we wanted to directly modify those values, here's what we can do. And this is called modifying array values by reference. We would simply put the ampersand in front of the array key, and then we can say something like numbers equals, uh, I mean number equals number times times two, and that would modify the array value. So now all the all the values inside of the array would be doubled. So if I print out the array down here now, 
you, you'll see that these values have been modified okay so now all the values have been doubled so that's how you modify the values by reference and it's actually recommended to unset the number because it's still going to reference the last key value of the array and that can lead to unexpected behavior so we want to break the reference with the last element here okay so that's it for the for each loop uh, finally I want to show you a last example if we wanted to include the for each inside of the HTML page you can replace the opening curly bracket with a colon and you can replace the ending curly bracket with end for each semicolon and this is just a nicer cleaner uh, way to include the for each loop inside of a HTML page or alternatively you can of course write it uh, in the same way here in a PHP page as well so that's it for the for each loop I hope you guys found this useful if you did please like share and subscribe and I'll see you next time clever techie out